It's time to play the game that is sweeping the nation, the not-so-newlywed game. Every day this week, we've had a different couple come on up to the show to compete. What they get just for showing up? A man's watch from TW Steel, courtesy of Alvin Goldfarb Jeweler. A set of three Amore Magnetti bracelets for the ladies from Alvin Goldfarb Jeweler. A pair of tickets to see James Taylor at Key Arena May 31st. And a $50 Pro Flowers gift card. That's just for showing up. That's yeah. a ton of stuff. And, and I, I'm still a huge fan of the watches. Yeah. Those are awesome. But I saw the bracelets for the first time yesterday. They're really nice, too. Yeah. Alvin Goldfarb Jewelers. Nice that stuff. That rocks. So they are competing for the grand prize, which is a three-day, two-night stay at the Edgewater's Beatles Suite with dinner at their restaurant 6-7 and either six months of testosterone treatment or a year of ED treatment from Innovative Men's Clinic. Who do we have on the show today? Well, the United States Army may keep us safe, but it also keeps today's couple apart. Oh, he, has served, right. he has served in the Army the whole time they've known each other, and this is the first Valentine's Day they've been able to spend together. <laughs> no way! Though deciding to also spend it with us might make you question their judgment. <laughs> <laughs> They're expecting their first child in June and would love a romantic getaway before the big day. Please welcome Margaret and Chris. Yay! Yay! Uh, good morning, Margaret and Chris. How you doing? Good. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. You're welcome. You look panic stricken all of a sudden. I, I've never been on radio before. You so. know, but really, if we if we took off our headphones, you couldn't tell. You're still sitting right there next to me, and we're just chatting. So it's only the headphones and the mic. It's the equipment that lets you know you're on the radio. Yeah. I was on the radio one time in Chicago, and I went to look out the window, and I told everybody, if you're listening to me, blink your lights. And there were thousands of people. Yeah. That's the first time I realized, oh, my God, people can hear this crap. Uh, hey, Chris, what's up there? But I mean, uh, what's happening there, Chris? Doing all right. How are you? Good, thank you. Tell me the deal about uh, uh, being gone. This is your first Valentine's Day together. How long are you gone, usually protecting our great country? Uh, I was gone for nine months oh, in wow. Afghanistan. We, had, we just got back and, about a couple months ago. And uh, first time since then. Well, wow. The year before that, he was in Yakima for a training on Valentine's wow, Day. Wow, Afghanistan, Yakima, yeah. you don't get a break. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is a week after, no, I'm sorry, the next day after we got married, I was in Texas for a week. He, you oh. actually had to leave on the wedding night. On the wedding night. <laughs> yeah. Wow, when you deploy, you deploy, man. <laughs> well, it's going to be interesting with this much time apart to see if they know each other as well as they think they Well, do. you know what, I, I was thinking that about that, and the fact of the matter is, Amy, my wife and I, we're together nonstop. The second I'm I, I done work, I'm home uh, watching TV and listen to her complain about how much TV I watch. But we don't do that well at this game. I think maybe the fact that you spend a lot of time apart will actually help you in some way. Shall we find out? Let's find out. All right, here we go. We're playing with Margaret and Chris, of course. Uh, first up would be Margaret. You ready there, Margaret? Yeah. What is Chris's favorite snack? What is Salt the... and vinegar kettle chips. Well, that's yeah. a pretty specific answer. Salt and vinegar kettle. What is he right? Dude, yeah. Salt and vinegar yeah. potato yeah. chips. <laughs> Boom, chocolate <laughs> clock. Nice there goes Army. All right. Here we go. Next <laughs> question. Uh, what is Chris? Oh, no, that's the same one. Which of your friends does Chris find the most attractive? Oh, this question gets uh, loaded. Oh. Question. Yeah. Which of your friends does Chris find the most attractive? I'd say he probably refused to answer, but if you made him pick, he would probably say Courtney because he sees her more often. All right, and uh, what right what there. did Chris say? It's Courtney! <laughs> wow. That's, that's a loaded question. That's a man. loaded yeah. question. <laughs> that's going to be a fight later. All right, here we, here we go. Uh, let's see, Margaret. Uh, if he weren't in the Army, which we appreciate his work in the Army, if he were not in the Army, what would Chris be doing? Um... Well, we had a question like that when we were studying, and it said he would be a Navy fighter pilot, but that's still in the military. So maybe he would pick a uh, a teacher. A teacher? He'd teacher. be a teacher? All and right, the answer what is... What say? This is... He'd be a whole paragraph back home in Phoenix working for mom and dad. Oh, oh. What do your mom and dad do in Phoenix? They own a um, rental company for like jukeboxes and pinballs. And oh, that's like cool. That, so that's fun. Uh, cool. Michael C. Jones, are you keeping score? Because I forgot already. Yeah, me too. I am, yeah. They have uh, two out of three so All far. All right. Very nice. All right. Uh, here we go. We're not done now. If, uh, let's see, let me get this right. How long after your first date did you wait to make Whoopi? I'll ask that question again. How long after your first date did you wait to make Whoopi? Oh, um, two, yes, it's you. Two weeks. Two. That's a good, that's. One week. That's, well, two you weeks. have to come. <laughs> one or the other. Which one? Uh, two don't weeks. Don't look at him. Two weeks. Yeah, don't look at him. And he, Wow. Four dates, Whoa, two, two weeks. weeks. Nice. Way to that's hold out, wow. sister. I mean, I don't want to recommend the girls hold out like that, but no. that's very good. <laughs> All right. You guys are doing well. They are doing well. I believe that's three out of four, Mike? Yep. Correct. All right, here we go. Now it's Chris's turn. What is Margaret's favorite cocktail? What is Margaret's favorite cocktail? Oh, man. Um, 
Hey. Is it vodka teeny? Vodka I martini? don't know, for God's sake. <laughs> that's my guess. By the guess. look on her face, I'm saying I'm that's wrong. Out, let me see. Is it a vodka teeny? <laughs> It is rum, rum and, and Diet, Diet Coke. Coke. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no and of answer. course, she's pregnant, so she is now abstaining. So that was a difficult question. For That's, oh, I was going to say I'm drinking for her, but I'm not even drinking. It's <laughs> a terrible show. Uh, I'm not done yet. Uh, Chris, who's the better catch, you or Margaret? Margaret. Wow, no hesitation. And she said... Chris, Aww. which is why she's a better catch. He got the catch. He. Oh, you see? Wait, I don't know That's what to say about that answer. Oh, that means it's her. Right? And tiny little writing at the bottom is that he got the catch, but I, I think that that means that she's the catch. Michael, what does that mean? Well, I'm not sure. I, I heard two different answers. Well, uh, don't let him see your card. Let me see that card. Right there. Oh, Here's who got the better catch? You or Margaret? And he wrote, she wrote, Chris, I'm the catch. So he got the better catch. Right. So they got it right. Yeah, but so look at the card. That's like the big answer. He well, got the I better catch. my watches. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going crazy here. I see what you're saying, and I think, yeah. There you go. You got that one, Chris. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, next time, don't get fancies on your answers there, Martin. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Here we go. In a movie of her life, what actress should play Margaret? Ooh, I can see right now. In a movie of That's her life, one. what actress should play Margaret? I only know her first name, Zoe. She's on the other girl. I think. Zoe Deschanel, Chanel, right? Zoe. Oh, I can if you see don't know her name, what are the chances your wife knows her name? You didn't figure that one out, did you, Ranger? Uh -oh. <laughs> right, let's let's see. What did she say in the movie of her life? Who would play her? Susan, Susan Sarandon. Sarandon. She's old enough to be your grandmother. I didn't think he'd be able to remember anyone else's name. Ah. <laughs> she does look like Susan Sarandon. She does. She I get it immediately. You? The eyes, yeah. which are one of her better qualities. All right, here we go. Uh, what is... What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Who writes this crap? Who writes this crap, Jones? Uh, what is Margaret's bra size? <laughs> it depends, because she's pregnant. Right. But we well, don't... Well, at the moment, we don't know. Okay. Because they're getting bigger. But I understand. <laughs> the reason to keep them pregnant. <laughs> but uh, traditionally, it's a C, I believe. Is but that I, a full answer? Any, any further information? No, or is it, okay, that's, that's his answer. It's a C. And she wrote... 36C, but getting bigger. You write a lot of stuff in your things. <laughs> well, I don't think I like, can allow it. See, I'd have allowed it, but that's... He's supposed to have a number. Yeah, I'd have gone... Maybe we should have pressed him. I'd have gone 34C if I was guessing your bra size. I am not looking at her bra size. Though, I'm <laughs> Dang, she's pregnant. Yeah, Stop she looking at them. I'm not staring at them. Michael C. Jones, how many of these questions did they get right? Half of them, four. Four? four. Putting them in, uh, I believe, second place. With lovely parting gifts. With lovely parting gifts. Have you, you seen the watch really, yet? really mm -hmm. did get some amazing stuff to take home with you just for playing today. The men's watch from, awesome. uh, from TW Steel, courtesy of Alvin Goldfarb Jeweler. A set of three Amore Magneti bracelets for the ladies, also from Alvin Goldfarb Jeweler. You've got a pair of tickets to see James Taylor at Key Arena May 31st and a $50 Pro Flowers gift card just for showing up. Yay! Yay. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hello there. This is the Danny Bonaducci and Sarah Morning Show on 102.5 KZOK, the classic rock station.